What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, everybody. You know who this is by seeing the picture there. You see, uh, join me, sign me up, you know, add me. Today I'm going to talk about something. And you're going to see the picture, and I'm going to relate it to you guys in four, three, two, one, and a half. Bang. There we go. A little late with the bang. But I, I want to talk about, if you read the caption here, or read the picture, and if you can get it, it says, Never lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. And sadly, sadly, my friends, most of you are sheep. See, so here's the problem. Lions don't worry about what anybody else say. They just go for theirs. And that's how I approach my videos on YouTube. I don't care what, uh, I hate to say this, I don't care what my, some family members, some friends, or anybody else thinks. I have, a, I have a thought process, and I will say what's on my mind in these videos. It may not be popular opinion, but in America, the truth is never a popular opinion. So I may say, like, I, my, my stance on homosexuality, like, uh, or like when I talk to quote-unquote pro-black people who feel the need to be interracially dating and marriage or homosexuality, I, I, I laugh at these people, I laugh at these jerk-offs. I mean, I have no nothing wrong with interracially dating, but when you're pro-race and you're doing that, you just sound so, it's like you make up, you're just making up shit now. But uh, and when I do these videos, I know sometimes my opinion may not be unpopular, but there's a lot of people who have a lot of unpopular opinions like mine. And slowly and surely, this country is waking up. Slowly, I'm saying. Because a lot of people are not just believing the old standard Loki dokie Sure, there's sure there's people that are going to believe it. No, but they're ignorant. And if you look at it, most people that believe everything, somehow, some way, they're dependent upon the government. The government got them doing something. Or they're, they're beholden to the government. I mean, I have no problem with the government. But I know that not all people in the government are doing us righteous and fair. Take the internet tax, for example. They want to add the internet tax for everybody. That's going to hurt the persons, that the people that do uh, have a business on the internet. Well, what's, what the reason it's hurting because Congress doesn't know how to spend. I mean, they know how to spend. My fault. They know how to do that. They don't know how to save. They don't know how to budget. And um, what, that, what it is is... I'm tired of paying for other people's perks. And I'm going to use a group which it's been said before in other videos by other people. I'm going to use a group that you guys aren't going to really like when I say this. I feel that we should tax religion, organiza religious organizations. Now before you go off and you're crying whining and you're high moral ground, I'm going to be taxing your church. I'm going to be taxing the church that has like 10 people there. I'm going to be taxing the organizations that are corporate. Or, or cor similar to corporate corporations. Look at the Mormons. Look at the Catholic Church. Look at the Protestants. Look at the overall Baptist Church. A lot of these have associations and organizations that are pretty much corporate-like. And these people are to escape, gate, escape paying taxes where you and I have to pick the slack up. When I mean you and I, I mean whoever pays taxes. Now, if you don't pay taxes, get off this video. You know, your opinion, you, I welcome your opinion, but at the end of the day, you don't pay taxes. Why should I listen to you? But a lot of these churches get that uh, 501 C3 deal, whatever going on, where they're, they don't pay any taxes. And look how much they're raking in. A lot of them own commercial properties. A lot of them own residential properties that are turning in a profit. The NFL. The NFL is a non-profit organization. I mean, go figure. The United Way is a non-profit organization, even though they're uh, fat cats driving a uh, you got fat cats driving Mercedes. You have lots of problems. I, I just I, know, I shouldn't be saying all this, but uh, it's the truth. It's the truth. We should be allowed. We should investigate all these quote-unquote non-profits. To see if they really are non-profit. If they're not non-profit, 
we need to make make uh, every attempt to get make them pay their fair share. Now, excuse me if I'm I'm going going in and out because I'm watching football. I hate to say this, I'm watching football. I'm editing a video and I'm talking. I, I I seen this come up and I saw I was seeing the internet tax come up and I just wanted to talk about it, but I'm leading in, in other things. So, let me go on. If we tax these religious organizations, just think the Catholic Church, just think the Mormon Church, just think how many billions you can get. I mean, just their fair share. I don't mean them. I don't mean overcharging. I don't mean going above board and the usual fool. I mean, just make them their, pay their fair share. If you make them pay their fair share, how much of that could go into the public coffers? But no, we're not doing that. What we're doing is we're letting them slide. We're letting these preachers roll around on private jets making. 12 million a year. Last time I checked, Jesus didn't wear his shoes and he wore a, he wore a, like a rug for a coat. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know he was raking that dough like that. Like, I don't begrudge him for doing that. What I do begrudge him for is that they're not, they're not paying their fair share in taxes. But a lot of you will not stand up for this because A, you're too Jesus freakery or whatever religious you are. And B, a lot of you just, a lot of you are just sheep. A lot of you, a lot of you don't want to do anything, but you want to yell about something. A lot of you will not. Then a lot of you won't do anything until after it affects you. Like, like I talked earlier before about the Voting Rights Act with black people. Now a lot, of, I know this for you know, this is going to happen. It always happens. What's going to happen is the voting rights are going to be denied because maybe you forgot, maybe you forgot to check off a box. And they're going to come back and say, well, this is racist, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, well, did you do what they say? Well, no. Well, why not? Well, I didn't know. If, it, if it's pertaining to you, and you know when the new Jordans come out, but you don't know what you need to do to vote, whose fault's that? It's not racist if you're ignorant and you're stupid. If you're ignorant and you're stupid, well, that's America. See, when I, when, I, when I talk about something, I go in on, I don't care what color you are, I don't care what creed you are, I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what, what, what your sexual preference is. I don't care. Look, I don't, I don't care about too many things. Like I won't go in on children. I won't go on the, the gravely ill. And when I mean gravely ill, I don't mean fibromyalgia because I can, I can go in on that. I don't go in on the people who dedicated their life to this country. I don't go in. There's certain things I just don't talk about. I won't, I won't go in on people's family because that's none of my business and. That, that's what men don't do that. I'm not going to come here on the internet and call you a name and call you a bitch. I'm not going to call you a, a homo, a fag, a nigger, a spick, a kike. I'm not going to call you these names because that's not my intent and my purpose. If you have to, if you feel the need to call me that, well, oh well, that's what you have to do. That just shows me that, well, I just don't have to, you know, deal with you anymore. The fact remains is a lot of you want me to get all upset and, you, and, and, your, and your deflection points to my point are, well, what about so-and-so? I'm not worried about what so-and-so does. I'm worried about what me and mine are doing. And that's what a lot of you have problems with. Or a lot of you guys won't call out the BS that you see going on, but you won't call out somebody else's BS. Look, there's been times where, well, more than once that I had to call out BS in my own camp. There's been times when I was called out on BS. Did I like it? No, but I listened. You want to know why? Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to live your life to improve, not to fall back. And unfortunately, a, a lot of my community is falling back. And, 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 and all these holes that are popping up, it reminds me of the black community because sooner or later we're going to get swallowed up if we don't do something about it. So that's just, just my little going off on a tangent here. Like I said, I just saw this thing about the internet tax. It was supposed to be about the internet tax, but I delved into a lot of topics. So at the end of the, at the, end of the proverbial day, I don't care about how you feel about what I say. I'm not harming anybody with my opinions. I'm not hurting. Well, if I'm hurting you with my opinion, you got to look at where my opinion is coming from. If you're doing something stupid, you should be mad. But at the end of the proverbial day, it's just my opinion. It's nothing for you to lose, lose sleep over. And nothing for you to feel all salty about. Just say, yeah, fuck that guy and move on. All right, later. Peace.